Yes, you lot, what you're saying, in today's video, we're going to be designing a simple, futuristic streetwear design. So, the past couple weeks, I've really been enjoying designing within this sort of futuristic, dystopian style, and I recently created this hand graphic a while ago, and I thought, why not show you guys a little tutorial on how I've done it, just as it was so simple, however, I think it's really effective in giving off that sort of maximalist, dystopian, futuristic style. So, I hope you guys can pick up a few tips and tricks throughout this video, and then apply them to your designs at home. So, I began by creating an A3 document at 300 dpi and covering the artboard in black. This is my usual procedure before creating graphics, just as I prefer working on black backgrounds when I know I'm sort of making a design for a black t-shirt. I then imported my stock asset off this hand, I found on unsplash.com and then selected remove background in the quick action preset. Then creating a new layer above, I selected my paintbrush tool and then using the color code on screen now, I simply dabbed over my hand and changed the layer styles to overlay. As I wanted to create a backdrop, I used the shape tool, creating an ellipse, and by holding shift and dragging my cursor, and then went ahead and selected fill and then choosing white. Then positioning the circle where I want it by holding down command and open bracket, if you're using a Mac, I placed my layer just below the hand. Then choosing the blending options of my circle layer, I selected Outer Glow, changing the colour to white, the colour overlay to this sort of pinky beige colour on the screen now, and the inner glow of a bright magenta. With the blend mode set to linear, dodge, opacity at 100 and my size at 188, range on 74, and my jitter at 30, and then everything else set to 0. Now returning back to my hand layer, I selected the styles for this and chose Outer Glow at a colour of black, the opacity at 100 and the size of 224, and my range set at 58. Now I use this technique of adding an outer glow of black to objects which are overlapping each other just to sort of add a little contrast. I think it works really well and when you're working on a black background this, this works perfectly just to keep everything a bit coherent and looking like it all belongs together. Then positioning this grunge texture which I found online, the link is in the description, I resize the image till it was covering my graphic and change the blending option to subtract. Then as you can see, I feel like this is where the design starts coming to life a little bit, where you start playing with all these sort of 3D textures and overlays. Uh, it just really adds some depth to your design. I now want to add some type, so I selected my type tool and selected a free online font called Kilgrew. I keep on going on about it in my past videos, guys. It's such a sick font. I actually love it. The link will be in the description. Um, I definitely recommend. Now I wanted this graphic to have an underlying sort of theme of futuristic dystopia, so I typed out the words dark future as I just think this sort of reinforces that idea quite well. Positioning this to where I want it, I then chose the layer styles and selected bevel and emboss. Using the inner bevel style, I set my depth to 969, the size of 35 and soften at 10. The angle was set to 54 and then my gloss contour was on the third bottom on the row. Then choosing colour overlay, I set my colour to this sort of pinky undertone, uh, the colour code is on the screen now. The outer glow was set to black with a size of 59 and a noise of 16 and then the range set to 58. I then duplicated this layer and then changed the colour overlay to black. Then holding shift and open bracket as we did before, I placed the layer underneath my hand layer just creating a sort of 3D effect with the type. I then imported this bubble graphic and I changed my layer styles to screen, positioning around the circle and then I pushed the layer just below my hand layer. I wanted more text which would reinforce this idea of futuristic dystopia, uh, so I simply just typed the future is dark on a separate layer in the same Kilgrew font. Now I wanted to create this sort of gradual fading effect with my type, so I copy and pasted the layer and then gradually lower the opacity each time in order to maintain this sort of grunge texture on the type, I pushed these layers underneath my textures. And then finally, I found this sort of maximalism pre-made graphic, which I just thought added a lot of type elements and depth to my design really well. Um, so I just went ahead and, and pasted that and then changed the layer styles to subtract. So here's how the design would look mocked up on various mediums and products and whatever I decide to throw in this little montage. <laughs> So 
So there you guys have it, a simple futuristic design just created using free online assets which you guys can go ahead and use as well on websites such as Unsplash and Pexels and any other stock websites. I just recommend it for designers who are maybe going through a bit of a creative block or just before you want to start designing. Just have a little look and it just helps so much with the whole creative process. If you guys want to keep up to date with my designs on the socials, then you can on my Instagram, Twitter, my Dark Digital. And yeah, till next time guys, I'll see you in the next one in a bit.